Ted Bundy. He didn't look like anybody's notion of somebody who would tear apart young girls. Jeffrey Dahmer. I was a young lawyer at the time. I get this call from my boss. He said, I need you to see Jeffrey Dahmer. Ivan Milat. Police fear a murderer may have struck again in the Southern Highlands following the discovery of two bodies near Barrel. Their household names for all the wrong reasons. My name is Ted Bundy. I've never spoken to anybody about this. I am looking for an opportunity to tell the story as best I can. Their violent and murderous stories glamorised on our TV screens, turning criminals into celebrities. I think there are a number of reasons why audiences can't get enough of true crime. And I think part of that is we are all a little bit naturally voyeuristic. And I think that there's that interest in what's going on in other people's lives. And it's no wonder Hollywood is getting in on the action. Zac Efron played the extremely wicked Ted Bundy, who murdered 30 women in a 2019 film adaptation. Serial killer Jeffrey Dahmer's story became the second most watched Netflix series three weeks after release. And this week, Kira Knightley entered the space, playing an investigative journalist who broke the story of the infamous Boston Strangler. The city is for some glamorous, stimulating, prosperous. Only recently has it become dangerous. Jack, I think I found something. Three women were strangled over the last two weeks. You're on the lifestyle desk. How many women have to die before it's a story? The film is based on Boston serial killer Albert DeSalvo, who murdered 13 women between 1962 and 1964. And despite a confession, detectives at the time couldn't prove he was the killer until DNA evidence linked him to the crimes 50 years later, long after his death. Boston Strangler is the latest true story glamorised for our entertainment. So what is behind our fascination with confronting crime? Well, I think it's mainly just that the psychology of someone who is, you know, either driven to or feels some kind of compulsion to do those kinds of things. Boston police, hands on the wall. We had him. We just let him walk away. Actor Alessandro Nivola plays a police detective in the film. I think we all are aware of how fragile our own, you know, psyches are. And part of the terror is just feeling like, oh my God, like, am I capable of doing something like awful? Criminologist Dr. Xanthi Mallet says glorifying these types of crimes can come at a cost. Certainly we do see people be inspired by crimes. Uh, for example, in the school shootings in the US, we know that some school shooters later have been inspired by previous offenders. And I think we have to be very mindful of that, that it's always very victim-centered, that we're not glamorizing the offender and really making sure that the victim stories are front and center. But it's not all bad news. Away from the screen, podcasts are a huge part of the true crime genre. There are the brutally honest, like Sword and Scale and Case File, and ones that crack cases right open, like Crime Junkie and The Teacher's Pet. Dawson played the role of abandoned spouse, enjoying decades of freedom until police and a podcast brought his wicked crime to worldwide attention. He tried every trick in the book to avoid prosecution, but was found guilty after a 10-week trial. You have to remember, in any crime, there's a whole group of investigators and experts that come together, bring all of their skills to the table to solve that crime. So. I think nowadays, given how advanced our science is, our understanding of human behaviour, that it's very difficult for one person, regardless of how skilled they may be, how educated they may be, in avoiding detection, in really outthinking all of those individuals. So I like to think that one person is really not going to outmatch the police and you know, other investigators these days. And whether you like it or not, the true crime trend isn't going anywhere. I need you to take down an address. If I don't call back in an hour, give it to the police. Loretta, there's more than one lunatic out there and you're gonna get us both killed. Your safe little world is just delusion.